So less than a few days after her strong comments on Medicare for All during her uh, CNN town hall, Kamala Harris has backtracked at least a little bit. Uh, now, this followed criticism from Republicans and, and billionaires. For example, Howard Schultz called Medicare for, for All system un-American. Uh, then you also had Michael Bloomberg saying, oh, we can't afford it. It will bankrupt the nation, right? So, uh, again, you also have uh, corporate Democrats that are also coming out against or have been against Medicare for All, and they openly criticized her. So now, following that, one of her advisors on Tuesday said that while she still supports Medicare for All, she would be open as well to more moderate health reform plans. Now, according to CNN, uh, these plans would preserve the health insurance industry and have been put forward by other congressional Democrats. Now, CNN says that it represents a compromise position that risks angering Medicare for all proponents. No kidding. Yeah, it, it kind of does. Now, but let's be fair. Let's be fair about this, right? Now, both the advisor and Harris's national press secretary, Ian Sams, said that her willingness to consider alternate routes to a single-payer system should not cast doubt on her commitment to the policy. Now, she says, uh, I'm sorry, he says, Medicare for All is the plan that she believes will solve the problem and get all Americans covered, period. She has co-sponsored other pieces of legislation that she sees as a path to getting us there, but this is the plan that she's running on. Now, look, if she's running on that plan, then just run on that plan. I mean, again, any single payer plan that preserves the health insurance industry technically isn't a single payer by definition. So understand that, right? So what this is, is, well, now, wait a minute, guys. I said that I believe in single payer. However, I'm still open to you guys. I'm not, I'm not radical. I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to be too extreme, even though I'm saying that I believe in Medicare for all. I'm also throwing you guys a bow. Okay. Well, we'll see, right? Uh, now, here's the thing. If you're not for the government to sponsor insurance, then you're not really for single payer. And that's all insurance. Full stop. But see, this is what we're saying. Now, I know I'm going to get a ton of heat for saying I don't trust Kamala Harris. Well, I don't. Well, I also don't trust completely Elizabeth Warren, even though I trust her more than I do um, Kamala Harris. I don't trust Cory Booker. I, I pretty much don't trust any politician, except for those who I, you know, w when you look at their policy positions and you look at their rhetoric and it matches up, well, then that makes me feel a lot better about trusting them on their word. For Kamala Harris, I don't know Kamala Harris. Nobody knows her unless you know, unless you actually do know her personally, then you can say, well, hold on, Jeff, you're wrong. Here's why X, Y, and Z. And I'll listen to this, right? But anyway, this is what we're saying. She's now saying that she is open for a compromise position that is not actually Medicare for all. So that is deeply problematic in my view, because what happened when we last had a compromise on healthcare? We got the ACA. The ACA was a heritage foundation plan known as Romney Care. So that's a big problem. Now, some of the uh, other bills that she supported, to give you some details here, were proposed by Hawaii Senator Brian Schatz. Now, that bill would effectively create a public option. I think that's a bit 10 years too late. By allowing certain Americans to buy into Medicaid, there's a plan from Senator Jeff Merkley and Chris Murphy that would allow individuals to enroll in a new form of Medicare and employers to purchase it for their workforce. Again, another public type of option. Now, she was also co-sponsoring a bill called Medicare X from Senators Michael Bennett and Tim Kaine, which would again create a public insurance option on the Affordable Care Act exchanges along the side of private plans. Now, none of those plans will actually fix the problems that is wrong with our current healthcare system. The problems being, of course, rising premiums uh, and people getting left out of the insurance system. Now, the reason that progressives are pushing so hard for Medicare for all is not 
just because it's some sort of slogan and everybody like, oh, Medicare for all sounds so great. No, it's because it is the only plan that has proven to bring down healthcare costs while covering every single American for less money. No substitution will do. None. This is why I don't trust Harris or anyone else in the establishment. You can't come out and say, I believe the solution, and this is a quote, and I actually feel very strongly about this, is that we need to have Medicare for all. That's just the bottom line. Well, great. Uh, you know, I love that statement. I gave her a lot of credit on Twitter. And I know there are a lot of people that were like, don't give her credit. She's, she's going to fold. She's going to backtrack. And guess what? A couple of days later, she kind of backtracks. It's like a soft backtrack, right? And so... Again, this is why progressives have a really, really difficult time trusting in the word of establishment politicians. Nonetheless, uh, here's where she got a lot of her criticism. Again, the establishment, right? And of course, the donors. Uh, one of the establishment politicians is Dick Durbin. Now, Dick Durbin said, I don't want to guess what Harris is thinking, but that is a massive part of the American economy. There's a system in place for funding it. It would take a mighty transition to move from where we are to that. Now, if you're arguing that it's just going to be too hard and it's going to be too much to try to change our system, even though it's fundamentally broken as it is, it's just too hard. Well, that's not an argument that's going to win over a lot of people. So I'm sorry, I don't agree with that. And the whole point of this system is to have something that is truly transformative. At some point, we're going to have to do this anyway, because it is the only system that will actually work. We need fundamental change now because what we're doing isn't working. And I'm sorry, but people cannot wait. We cannot accept half measures. We need Medicare for all and we need it now. So make it very, very clear to Ms. Harris or Mrs. Harris. We need Medicare for all. Do not backtrack from it commit or don't and lose the progressive vote hey guys hopefully you enjoyed that free video now i'm gonna have to ask you a favor between the uh, demonetization and the youtube algorithm messing around with view counts etc we're having a hard time adjusting to the new youtube reality which is where you guys come in see we have a patreon patreon.com slash tyt nation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.